Transitioning us to the last battle of the day that is going to be fun to watch, Kentucky versus Georgia. So this one, I, I really I wanted to focus on this one instead of the Mizzou LSU. It's a good call. Missouri LSU is going to be fun because it's going to be really high scoring. But I'm tired of talking about LSU like they're a top ranked team. They have two like losses. They matter right now. They don't matter right now. They're not in the equation. Can they recover and return to the conversation? Yeah. But you know who's hot right now is Kentucky. And Georgia is trying to get a ranked win to justify some of their struggles right now. I think that this is a real opportunity after Ray Davis completely pantsed Florida and put out an insane stat line the way that he ran all over that that Florida defense for Georgia to, to show up and say, we're not messing around. We can still stop the best run games in the country, and we're going to do that today. If you take Ray Davis out of it, that offense, and I know Devin Leary is a nice quarterback, I don't think is good enough to really move the ball, especially on Georgia's secondary, which has been really freaking frightening. I'm obviously going to lean Georgia on this, but this is a real legit position for Georgia to say, stop doubting us. Stop doubting us. And I know that you're probably going to say what Georgia needs to do offensively. I don't even need to guess it. And you probably know what I'm implying. Yeah, it's throw the ball to Brock Bowers. And that's what that's what a lot of the recap was on Sunday. This I am in I am very intrigued about this game because Kentucky should not be taken lightly. And they proved it to us last week. They proved, hey, we we're we're undefeated and we just beat Florida and Florida yeah. had a pretty big win this year and it's still SEC competition. As much as we joke about Billy Napier's hairline and we joke about the team and the dysfunctionality, okay, we're, we're still playing ball. And Kentucky went out and looked like a bunch of grown-ass men wanting to play some football. And that's typically what Georgia looks like. And they turned in a Georgia-esque performance against Florida. And I'm not saying Kentucky's Georgia. Georgia is the heavy favorite in this game for a reason. They're still Georgia. They still have the five stars. They still have the abundance of NFL talent for the next level. Uh, and, and they still have a, a, a decently high-powered offense. But boy, is was the overreaction pot bubbling. And I was feeding into it. I, I had some of that overreaction soup. I'm like, oh, this is pretty good. This is pretty fun. This is tasty. I like this. I like this. Georgia might be human. Georgia flavor is might it? be susceptible. Fraud is the flavor. <laughs> Georgia okay. might be vulnerable to a hard-nosed run game in which they haven't seen yet. George, they've had a cupcake schedule. And everyone knew they had a cupcake schedule. And people have been complaining about it. So are you going to nut up? And say, hey, you call them cupcakes, and now going into it, you, you, you said that we might get, we might really be tested. Mm. Go out, drop forty on them, hold them to seven points. That's a huge statement. Win definitive number one. You go toe to toe with with Kentucky. It's either Kentucky is legit, or Georgia still has problems. And I, I still want a little more of that, that that soup, Joe. So I, I, I'm very interested in this game. See, I don't even think that this game will actually prove to us that Kentucky is legit. I, I think. Kentucky has holes, but is good enough to finish the year as a ranked team. They're never going to be in that top 10 conversation. Oh, I'm not saying they are. But I, I think it's more of, does Georgia have what it's had in the past? Because last year they started a little slow and then they started to pick up steam and they started embarrassing teams. Is this the week where they start embarrassing teams? They have to do more offensively. And I know that it's hard. It's really, really hard with that offensive line. Kentucky's defense benefited from an inept offense with bad play calling that they looked really freaking dominant last week. But we all know that that defense is not on that same level of some of the guys that Georgia has faced already this year. I, I don't see a reason why this, again, overall just can't be that get-right game for Georgia to reinstill in our minds that we're not drinking that fraud soup anymore. I gotcha. I'm just still waiting for them to have that 30 to six win over Oregon this year because they won the natty. They came back and said, okay, you want to throw a good, a, a real team at us. Okay, cool. This is what happens when you do that. And everyone and me especially was like, damn, they're not playing around this year again. And it made everyone and me and self included calling Oregon fraud and saying they're going to be bad this last year. That was year. a new pitch I didn't know that you could read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what happens. Too much soup. Uh, but but 
So pull out your 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 Oregon game, Georgia, if you really want to. Pull it out and show us. Because we're kind of we're, we're waiting for it. It looks pretty wide open right now. I'm gonna move past some of the verbiage that was used. No, that in was that. fine. That was all in the clear. That that that's that's green shot 2K. <laughs> that that's that's 